Hello everybody, this is Abby Normal and welcome back to A Romance Detective by the Nom Nom Nami. And it's go now, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, no, he's not here, no, no bleach references here, please. Uh, let's get right back into it, shall we? A voice in her head. Hmm, did you say something? Oh, oh, I, uh, no, no one saw that, no one, no one sees anything, just gonna put myself offline. <coughs> there you go, there you go. The scientist from yesterday, he said something about a voice in his head too. He was kind of crazy. Anyway, I'm sure it's just a way to escape the guilt of bad, bad decision making. No, I think there's some sort of outside influence and whatever it is, feeds off of love. How can you tell? Instinct. I think there's someone we need to talk to. Um, yes, we were just going to speak to the chief, weren't we? I'll leave that to you. Meet me at the cafe at sunset. Whoosh. But we already saw the cake. Be there. She's asking you on a date. You're gonna go on a date. Detective, I still don't understand you at all. But I don't mind being your partner for a little while longer. Ah, you like her. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> really? Ah, oh, good, you're here. Yeah. You really? Do you please tell me you don't need please? There's something wrong. Nothing, just that quick net you have there. It's the catch the one we need to talk to. You still haven't told me who that might be. Cupid. Oh, I see. And what kind of person is this Cupid? Don't say the real Cupid. Romance cop. Have you not heard of the God of Desire? Then. Your friend works at some sort of brothel? Of course not. I'll have to teach you about Roman mythology in depth later, but for now I'll get straight to the point. We're going to find Cupid and get him to tell us what's behind this odd phenomenon. 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 Of course, I haven't ruled out the possibility he's causing it himself. Wait, like, little angel baby bar an hour, Cupid? Are you serious? I'm always serious. Surely you're not serious. I am serious. and Don't call me Shirley. Right, so you've met Cupid before? Don't be ridiculous. Of course I haven't. Then how do you know we'll even be able to find him? Because I am a romance cop. I mean detective. Uh, I've never left a case unsolved. Alright, you win. Let's go find Cupid. Yeah, it's good to trust in your allies. Our search begins in the park. Here we are, not a single baby angel in sight. We'll need to do an extensive search of the park grounds. Why are you so convinced he's here? I can feel it. In other words, you have no real reason for this wild goose chase. Cupid is no goose. All right, all right, all right. Well, lead the way, detective. Even if I can't really understand any of this, I'm um, sure you know what you're doing. Right, this way, romance cop. Hmm, many hours later. Hmm, not here. We'll try this way next. A bit. This is completely ridiculous. How long are we going to wander around in this park? I trust the detective and no, but I just don't see the point in this. My head's starting to feel kind of foggy too. Aren't you coming? I'm sorry, I got a little caught up in my own thoughts. Oh, about the strange phenomenon. Let me hear it. No, it's nothing important. Hey, detective. This park is really nice, don't you think? Oh, hmm? Yeah, yes, they seem to have planted more rose bushes since my last visit. A fine addition to this public space. They're really pretty too. They should come back again in the daytime. What's gotten into you, Romance Cop? We need to focus on our search. Hey, sorry. She's right, what am I doing? I can lose sight of our goal now. We have to find Cupid or else the case isn't truly solved. Oh, someone's getting into your head. There he is! So, the one by the bench up there? Well, sure, he has wings, but there has to be a costume. No, he's the real deal. I'm sure of it. Cover me. Can I cover you? What do you mean? Take this! Oh my god! I. Ah! What are you doing? Let me go! Not until you answer our questions. Not until you answer. I'm, I'm a little bit drunk. Not until you answer our questions, scoundrel. 
You're the scoundrel who the hell goes around catching people in oversized nets. Ugh. I believe you laced your arrows with a certain potent toxin. Am I wrong, Cupid? What in the world are you talking about? Get this nut off me! Yeah, detective gone for too far this time. Let the poor guy go. I'm sorry, Robert Scott, but I won't allow him to escape. Okay, look, promise, I promise not to run off or anything. Just get me out of this. Thank you. Mm. I'm sorry about my partner's accent, sir. She's... Uh, she's the famous romance detective. I know, I just didn't expect her to use such straightforward methods, methods of catching me. You know of me? Sir, so, you're really? Yeah, I'm Cupid. But you're nothing like I imagined. Everyone grows up okay. Sure, I was a baby once, but no one stays like that forever. Get with the times already. Ugh. Oh no, he's gone from he's gone from cute cherub baby to impatient moody teenager. No! I just did the home alone smack on my face and I had out. Cupid, I'm sure you're aware of whatever force is driving the people of this city to commit crimes in the name of love. <gasps> Are you the one behind this? Nope, not me. I came here to look into it myself. So you weren't the cause. Oh, of course not. Why would I be? My aim might not always be perfect, but it's not like I'm ever trying to be a bad guy. Ugh, mom. Uh. Then why do you know about the case? <sighs> From what I understand, there's something influencing people to be more impulsive when it comes to love. I just, I can't figure out the source of the problem. Hmm. I would definitely explain the romance thief incident. Then that voice in her head was, as I thought, there was another force at work. Well, let me know if you find anything. I've got a feeling about this place, so I'm going to be sticking around all night. Thanks, and sorry about before. Ah, could have been worse. At least you didn't use an oversized jar. Ugh, so, so 1970s. Ugh. Next time I might consider it. The net has proven itself rather flimsy. <laughs> Seriously, don't. Let's see you around. Oh, good luck, you two. Huh? Did he just wink at me? What was that about? Uh, romance cop? Mm -hmm. We need to figure out what the source of the problem could be. What's influencing the people of the city? We'll regroup at my private residence. You, you home? Okay, let's go then. Oh, that was easy. Oh, oh, yes, I already got her back to my place. Oh, it's so red. I like it. Here we are. It smells like roses. <laughs> that shouldn't surprise me. So, um, why'd you bring me here? The cafe is closed. I thought this place would make a suitable substitution while we discuss the investigation. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Pull it together, Robot Scott. You've been out of these you've been out of it these past few hours. Have I really? Maybe. It's been a long day. I must be tired. I need you to focus. Hang on. Focus. There you go. We're getting close to solving the case. I can feel it. Yes, I uh, I'll do my best. Why does my head feel so hazy? It's been like this since we started searching the park. Being alone with the detective almost seems to make it worse. Oh. Kiss her. Ah! I heard it! Oh, that's called, what's wrong? What did you hear? The voice! <gasps> oh. Detective, I hear. Oh, that's called, listen to me, you're being influenced by my feelings, I know. It's been hard for me trying to keep them at all this time, trying to be so professional. My man's cop, you aren't yourself right now. Baby, please. No, this is real. This is real for me. My true feelings. Uh, I, I, was just, I, I was just imagining her approaching her, but she had like a little tiny bit of jewel coming out the side of her mouth. And she's like, ha ah. It just took a while for me to realize it. I'm, I'm sorry. But I really... No! Huh? Have you snapped out of it? Did you slap me? The fog in my head, in my head, it cleared up all of a sudden. What was I? Don't worry about that. I'm glad you're back to normal. I, I was about to kiss the detective, wasn't I? Oh. I stepped on my. Oh, it's the rose. I stepped on my rose. Oh. Oh. I'm really sorry. Don't really know what's going on, but could you give me a new one? No! Wait, hang on a second. No, it's the roses. <gasps> yes, I, I stepped on the 
this one is it's useless now so no oh, it's the roses they've been causing all along my roses <gasps> think about it there are roses all over this town hidden in plain sight there's one in my mouth right now the roses have betrayed me do you think i was being used all along away with you Ow, devil flower <gasps> oh my god she's just hang on i have to check oh my god oh no my flower Oh. oh my god. Wait, detective! I think you're getting a little bit ahead of yourself. I mean, this only started happening recently. You told me you've always had your rose. This is true. I don't think we should assume all roses have always been bad. Maybe these are just a special kind. Right. Oh, <coughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> or maybe it's something that latched onto roses and the flowers themselves are innocent. But the rose that I gave you, it caused you to... No, don't blame yourself for that. You couldn't have known if this was happening. It's okay. But does this mean that I was feeling was only because we have to get rid of the roses before they cause any more harm? But right, but how are we... We'll burn them. So I just had a theory. Considering the guy worked in a flower store, maybe that's where they came from in the first place. Mm -hmm. Are all of them? What else can we do? This will work for the time being. Let's gather all the roses we can carry. Okay. That should be... Oh no, they're in the fire! That should be all of them around the house. Oh no! Well, uh, there's some right on the mantelpiece right there, but we'll pretend they're fake. This somehow feels a little sad to watch. <laughs> What's that? Oh no! What's this weird smoke? Romance cop! Get back! <coughs> <coughs> we must evacuate. <laughs> I got you, baby. She <laughs> lifts her off over her shoulder like, I got you. We got you. We gotta go. Ah, oh, fresh air. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Huh. Looks like we'll have to find another way to get rid of these roses, though. Ah! What? What's wrong? The smoke. Look at the sky, detective. It's a bird. It's spreading over the city. I've never seen anything like this before. This proves the roses really are the cause. Cause all romance cop wants to do is spread the love. <gasps> we don't know what effects the smoke this smoke might bring. We should be careful advancing from this point on. Oh! Evening, ladies. Chief! What are you doing here? I was on my way to visit the detective, but now I uh Chief. Romance cop. You look wonderful tonight. Oh no. Oh no! Where is this coming from all of a sudden? I mean, I appreciate the compliment, but... <laughs> Sorry, I'll be more direct. What I really want is to be with you. Chief! The smoke! Could it be? You think this is because of the roses too? What are you talking about? What's the, this about roses? The feelings you harbour for my partner. My partner, notice I said my partner. Buddy, they are not your own. You're being influenced by the smoke from those roses. Stop with your nonsense, detective. You're not trying to keep me away, are you? Yeah, got a problem with that. But what she says is true, you're not. Listen, romance cop. No, Chris, I need you. I won't allow it. Detective! We're retreating. Come with me. Okay. No, my baby. Did we lose her? Aww. I, I wanted them to be holding hands. <laughs> it seems so. Ah, uh, Chief. What a mess this has turned into. This is my fault, yet again. Don't say that, detective. There was no way you could have known, but it's obvious now we need help. Yes, someone who can get rid of these roses once and for all. But who can we go to? The florist. See? Wait, hold on, before I do that, hang on. Love, Bloomery, Cupid, Lupin. Cupid? Cupid could help us. Uh, because they're a form of love something. Lupin would have the scientific option, but then again, he has his poster, he has his tickets. Love Bloomery because he knows about flowers. We'll head to the flower shop. Oh, good idea! But is that place even open this late? The owner might still be around. He'll know a way to get rid of the roses. And let's go! Unless he has something to do with it in the first place. <gasps> dun dun dun. Oh, it looks like it was close after all. Too late. Oh, no, there is. Oh, oh, good evening. I was just finished closing up. Hallelujah. Oh, thank goodness you're still here. We need your help. Anything for you, officer. Don't. Oh, damn it. 
This is a little out of the blue, but would you happen to be single by any chance? God damn it! <laughs> and romance sex is just like, dude, what is it with no one being attractive to me? Apart from romance girl. Hi, romance girl. Why are you asking something like that? I specifically remember me hearing you only had a girlfriend. Don't worry about that. You're the one I really like. Oh, this is just like the chief. Let's find someone else to help us. Yeah, let's go to Cupid. Cupid shouldn't be affected. He should He shouldn't be. We should update Cupid on the situation. Maybe he can help. Right, let's go. And that's how I was supposed to go through the ones that I thought were wrong. Oh, you're back. I mean, oh, you're back. Do you two know what's up with that smoke? It's the roses. They're the cause of everything. The smoke came from when we tried burning them. Is that why she's suddenly the centre of a citywide love triangle? Ugh, maybe triangle isn't the best word for it. Huh? What did you say? Well, you're at the receiving end of a ton of love energy. Oh, let's call it that. It's not a very deep love though. It all feels manufactured. Uh, I don't understand. Why romance got... Oh, 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 because the roses belong to romance detective. So, and her feelings of romance cop. Ah! Sorry, I'm, 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 I'm gay. I love it. Had it. Maybe the roses said she was more likable. You need to step up your game, detective. Fight you! Um, I've been wondering, how come the detective hasn't been affected by any of this because she already likes you? Well... If the smoke was to make everyone fall for you, it only makes sense that it wouldn't work on... Ah. Nah. I should let you figure that out on your own. <laughs> huh? Uh, enough. Uh, Cupid, is there any way you can help us get rid of the roses? <sighs> Not that I can do th that, that I can think of. You have to go to someone else for that, sorry. Oh god, you're useless. Now, now, we just have to keep trying, detective. Let's ask someone else. Uh, let's go for Lupin then. Lupin, uh, Lupin owes us. I mean, Lupin owes us. So let's pay him a visit. So, but who are you talking about? The scientist from yesterday. Oh, I must forgot about him. Do you really think he'll help us? It's worth a shot. I love. Oh, good. Lucky Sarah, Jimmy, Harry, Senpai. Ah. Why? Why? Who are these? What? What is happening? I don't want to think about you, but please go out with me. Oh no. They're being controlled by the smoke. Let's go before they surround you. Okay, so the smoke has been amplif has amplified romance detectives' feelings of romance cop, which is why the whole city is now falling under the spell of romance cop. Right? Ah! I need a drink. <sighs> we got away. They went far behind. We're gonna be trapped here for the time being. Who goes there? I can't remember. Who goes there? Oh, you two. Listen, we need your help. Uh, wait, <laughs> I keep trying to do a Guzma voice now. I'm not allowed back in any of my sweet canary's concerts because of you. What? What are you blaming us for? What did you do? I set off some special fireworks I made, but apparently that's enough to get you kicked out of the venue. The ultimate expression of my love stomped out just like that. Is that your own fault then? You gave me the ticket! I had gone to the- if I had gone to the concert, I'd still be able to see her again! The blame may not be entirely his own. What in the world makes you say that, Detective? Lupin, the roses of the city have gained a strange power. What? They can manipulate your thoughts, causing you to take impulsive actions in the name of love. They are very dangerous, and we've come to ask you to help us get rid of them. What is she on? It's the truth! I know it sounds crazy, but you have to believe us. <laughs> All right, I'll play along for a price. You already owe us a favor. You said so yourself. Don't, I'm not going on a date with you. Oh. Uh, but yeah, yeah, you need to exterminate some roses. Hmm? Might I suggest a flamethrower? Too dangerous. The roses emit terrible smoke when set ablaze. So fire's no good, eh? I'll blast them to the moon for you. How about that? Send them to space. That could work. Can you do it? <laughs> oh sure. I could build a rocket in my sleep. But there is one tiny condition. You're in no position to be bargaining with us. I could still have you arrested for what happened yesterday. Oh, but I can't help you if I'm in jail. Is that what you want? Fine, what's your condition? Oh, god damn it! This cop has to go on a date with me. Absolutely not! I refuse! So you fall in love with her too. Love? Ha! No way! Canary is still number one in my heart. But I might be able to settle for her cousin. Oh, that's disgusting. That's gross. I. Oh, God. Don't. 
Don't be that guy. Don't be that person. Ew. Ugh, yeah, yeah, you're disgusting. Absolute human trash. Your insults do nothing. I've long abandoned my pride and dignity. So will you do it or not? She won't. No one asked you. I'm asking Canary's cousin. Eh. All you have to do is say yes and I'll build you as many rockets as you like. If it's for the good of the city, I... No romance quote. I would not allow this. You might go. But he isn't really giving us much of a choice. All right, Lopin, I'll... She won't do it. Romance quote is my partner. I will let you have her. Eh. Whoa, now, if she's your girlfriend, you should have just said that from the start. I can respect that. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Okay, um, I can respect that. <sighs> Detective? You, you were sad. Uh, I said partner, not... Ah, uh, uh. hmm, so you can do anything for me after all. <laughs> Fine, out of the goodness of my heart, I'll build you a racket. Huh, really? Yeah, I've given you enough heart of a... Uh, enough of a hard time already, but you can't arrest me after this deal. To be honest, I was looking forward to that, but fine. <laughs> How long will this take? A few hours, maybe. I only had plans for the giant rocket. Just needed a reason to begin construction. This was my destiny. Alright, then you have fun with that, and uh, we'll find a way to gather up all the roses in the city. <laughs> Your plan is crazy. I like it. So now all, all that's left is to figure out a way to do that. Any ideas, Detective? With the chaos outside, things will be difficult unless we use it to our advantage. And that's what I was thinking. Get Romance Cup to be like, hey guys, can everyone just get all the roses in the market? That'd be great, thanks. Use it to our advantage? How? I have a plan. It could work, but you might disapprove. Well, go on. Don't think you start guessing. What's the plan? Just come with me. We're going outside. Wait, before that, um, Detective. Focus on the case for now. We'll talk after the roses have been dealt with. First things first, huh? huh? Alright, let's go. <laughs> oh my god, she is adorable! And it's adorable! There she is! She's finally appearing before us! Senpai! Listen well, citizens. I have a challenge to propose. Whosoever brings my partner the most roses by midnight will get to go on a date with her. What? Romance cop, I know this isn't ideal. But you must play along with it for it to work. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, that's right. I love roses. Please bring me lots of them and I'll take you out to lunch. A date! We accept! Remember, remember, I mean, remember to bring roses to the park by midnight tonight to be considered for the prize. I'll gather more roses than any of you. My love her will outshine all of yours. <laughs> Chief, you're embarrassing yourself. We need to collect roses too. Stay close. Okay. Oh yeah. Is the wait? Hang on. Why isn't Lupin? Yeah, oh, I suppose. So. Is the rocket complete? Everything's ready to go. Go ahead and load it with all your roses you want. Good. All right, everyone, bring all of your roses this way. The detective's working really hard. I don't know what to think when we first became partners, but in the short time we've worked together, I've come to respect her a lot. She might be the most eccentric person I've ever met, but she's kind of a genius too. So, uh, this is the plan you two came up with? Well, it's about what I expect from the detective. Can't read minds or anything, can you? I'm not psychic. I just have a good eye for compatibility. Well, anyway, this is all the detective's handiwork. I, I'm just here to offer support. So what do you do after this is over, Ramon's Cup? Find more crimes to solve with her. Well, when the case ends, our partnership is over, so I, I'm not sure. You're, you're giving up on love just like that? But, love? Uh, I was just because of the roses. Ugh, you really think that? Is that, is that how right? Uh, who knows? You should be a little more straightforward. You're only making me more confused. Oh, look over there. The rocket's about to launch. Don't just change the subject. Oh, that's how it is. The roses have been taken care of. It actually worked. <laughs> you should never have doubted my skills. We had every reason to, but I'm glad you came through for us. The citizens, the citizens, the citizens, the citizens all seem to be going home now too. The roses' effects have finally worn off. 
romance club. I, <clears throat> I want to apologise for my actions tonight. It, it's not you, Chief. You weren't yourself. You forget it. Just forget. <laughs> right. Memory erased. Uh, good work out there today. It's, it's late, so I'm going home. Goodbye. <laughs> Farewell, Chief. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Case has been solved. Yes, it has. Romance cop. Something, <clears throat> something I must confess. Oh, how could that be? This is uh, hard for me to say. Well, what is it? I'm, I'm not a real detective. <gasps> huh? I don't have a, I don't have a badge because I'm uncertified. <gasps> detective? You're, you're still calling me that? I mean, they, they tell me your real name. Rose. My name is Rose. <sighs> I guess that makes sense. I'm gonna make so many Titanic jokes around you now. What kind of response is that? Either way, I think detective suits you better. Um, moving on, Lena. I apologise for all that I've put you through tonight. Dragging you around, treating you like a prize. I've caused you a lot of trouble. You did what you had to do in order to save the city. I'm not mad or anything. Not at all. Still, I, if you'd rather we end our partnership here. Detective? Hmm? <gasps> yes! Gay! Gay! I love it. To be continued. Yes! To be continued now. Almost immediately. Right now. That'd be great. If you could, if you could continue it now, I'd appreciate it. It'd be the best. I, I did it! I did it! I want to have a look in the gallery. Where am I? Oh, snail! Oh, look at all these pictures! Oh, okay. Second of 40. Ah! Oh. Eccentric woman whose mission in life is to solve crimes with passion. Oh, she, wait a minute. How old is that? 26. 23. 28. Oh my god, how's my age? Lupin. Hey Lupin! Canary fanboy. Daisy. You are you you all can go back and read this when you get the game to yourself. She has a crush on Steven and oh Stefan, sorry. And Cupid. Sup Cupid. That is awesome. Oh look at the illustrations! Oh I don't know. Oh I love these. Oh these are perfect. It's it that I, that this one. I'm just gonna click on it. Look how gay this is. Let's end it on this. I really enjoyed Romance Detective and I, I will play the next one and the other Nom Nom Nami games after this. Oh, but you should go check her out yourself. Oh, you should go check them out yourself, sorry. But oh, it's so cute. Oh, there's a little, little, my little heart, my little heart's just going boom, 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 boom. Oh, it's a happy ending. Oh, I hope you enjoyed it. I did. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. I don't mind. I'll speak to you later. Bye.